going on YouTube? This is Macman Limited and I thought I'd do a quick what's in my dock video. So let's get started quickly so I can keep this under 10 minutes. So in the first spot I have my finder which is where you can use or that you can use quickly to find basically anything on your Macintosh computer. Uh, any photos, videos, applications, emails, anything. Just click search in there and you'll find it. Uh, next we have your dashboard which I'll open quickly. I have my stocks application, my uh, ESPN hockey uh, RSS thing I guess feed which will give me the scores and kind of the quick news what's been going on. Uh, converter for uh, temperature uh, converts uh, not only temperatures but currencies and pretty much anything that you need converted. I'll show you quickly if you can read that quick. Oops. There they are. And then next, I always do that. Anyway. Next we have seven clocks up here, world clocks all around the world. We use these basically to know what time it is in different parts of the world. And it is daylight in these three cities. Next we have uh, the Google uh, search engine up top with a dictionary below, a uh, calendar underneath that, calculator and iStat Pro which will let you know what's going on with your computer on the inside. Then we got Bart Simpson down here. Uh, back to my doc, I have iCal, basically the only reason why I leave this in here is to tell me what the date is, and right now it is March 18th, as you see. Uh, next we have my mail application, so um, as you can see here I'm falling a little bit behind on my emails, but that's alright. Um, I'll answer all your emails, I assure you that I read them all. Um, send me all your questions, I'll, I'm fine with answering any of your questions, it's good. Uh, Anyway, let's move on actually. First of all, my main web browser, uh, Safari, and this is the 4.0 beta version. It runs amazing on a Mac, not so great on a Windows PC, but it's my main browser. It's got all the features I want, the multi-touch feature for the MacBook Pro, it's got everything. Uh, Firefox, I don't like Firefox as much as most people. Uh, I actually don't use it anymore. The uh, reason why I don't really like it is because it, well, first of all, it doesn't have that multi-touch feature. I know you can get it through an add-on, but that is actually one of the reasons why I hate Firefox. Uh, a lot of people love it because of the add-ons, but I actually feel that a, brow a browser should be good right out of the box, so you don't have to make any customizing to the browser to make it suit your needs at all. It, it, Safari basically has everything I want, nothing more, nothing less. Well, Firefox has all these add-ons that are like way more than I ever need so I actually have to just go and search through them all and try to find which is the best for each feature that I want in the browser and I just kinda get fed up with it and go back to Safari. Next year I have Internet Explorer and this is a very old version, this is 2001 because they don't make a Mac version anymore but they did back in 2001. It runs very slow uh, I basically just have it there because it's small and it's a cool logo to put in my dock. Next I have iChat um, just an instant messenger is pretty cool and you can use some of your photo booth effects in it. Then we have Twitterific. Uh, I'm not that impressed with this desktop application. Um, it's alright for the iPhone but the desktop app kinda sucks to be honest. So if you guys have any suggestions of your favorite Mac OS X Twitter desktop app please leave a comment and I'm actually planning on doing some more research on this and making a video about the pros and cons of some of the major Twitter desktop applications to kind of inform you guys. Anyway, next we have Handbrake where you can rip DVDs so you have a copy on your hard drive and also convert different audio and video formats. Actually, mainly video formats. Anyway, next we have iTunes. Everyone knows what iTunes is if you're a Mac OS X user, Windows user, or even Linux user. Even though I don't think you can actually run it on Linux, correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am wrong, but uh, they'll know what it is. Anyways. Then we have QuickTime Player. I use this to watch my videos. I used to actually record YouTube videos with it, but I have switched away from it because you can't record in the 16 by 9 ratio, and maybe you can, I haven't figured it out. So, anyway, I switched to iMovie 09. So, and also a little bit of screen flow, like right now. But, um, I did get the I Love for 9 Suite. Uh, when I did buy it, I bought it a little bit later than what most of you have, uh, most of you did. So I didn't do an unboxing video, mainly because by the time I bought it, YouTube was flooded with a whole bunch of uh, iLife 09 unboxing. To be honest, it's not that not that great of an unboxing. It's just a box with a CD in it. So 
I didn't really see the point of unboxing it. I'm sure, like, many of the earlier unboxings, like when it first came out, like the first day, those were great. But then the ones that were, like, weeks after, I just didn't see the points in them because we all knew what was coming in. It was, we all knew that it came with uh, the iWork trial CD in it. We didn't know that when it first came out, but after the first day, we all did. So, anyway, next we got IDV. Actually, make make a quick point here. I removed iMovie HD from my dock because iMovie 09 is that great that I'm confident enough that I'll never need to use iMovie HD anymore. iMovie's got everything. Next we got, like I was saying, iDVD. This is basically a program that makes it very easy to burn your videos to DVD and have some great menus and titles to go with it. Live type. I use this my original intro video, but have you seen at the beginning of this video I have changed it to a more creative intro, I guess, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. Um, it's actually not set in stone, so if you have any suggestions, I can make any changes to it quite easily, so uh, please leave a comment if you have any suggestions. Then we have ScreenFlow. I'm using that to record right now. Since I've updated it, it hasn't crashed as, crashed as much on me, so I actually may be using this quite a bit more now. Next, we have CamTwist which is to you you use it to kind of um, make some great transitions between different um, different cameras when you're doing live streaming and stuff like that. I actually use this to record my screen when I was uh, doing a stream showing you guys how I was editing my intro video for the contest for that Soldier Knows Best held. I didn't win it, uh, of course not, but uh, I did get an honorable me mention, I guess, so if you want to check out my video or actually check out his announcing of the winner video, right at the one minute mark, my video shows up top and center. Uh, next, we have Photo Booth. Just take pictures, edit them with some crazy effects, and change the background. Main features of it. Next, we have GarageBand, where one of the great new features with GarageBand 09 is actually, you guys probably all know this now, but I'll mention it to the Windows users, maybe. Um, you can actually buy and uh, these l video lessons from actual professional musicians that will teach you how to play their songs and kind of give you kind of a quick story behind the inspiration behind that song, stuff like that. Then we have Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, kind of just basic programs to edit your text documents and PowerPoint presentations. We got Adobe here. I've got these apps, I guess, three weeks ago, and I love them. I used, uh, three weeks ago, I knew nothing about these two apps. Basically, I used Photoshop a little bit, but uh, I went to videocopilot.com, and they tell me everything I know about After Effects. I don't know that much yet, but I actually am am amazed how quickly I learned using their tutorials. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out. Next, we have Maya, which is a 3D animation software. And this is a personal learning edition, so you can download this for free off the Autodesk website. So if you guys want to check that out, especially if you're interested in 3D animation, and you can check out a lot of tutorials online on how to use it as well. Next we have Fun, which is the application of the week. So I don't know if I'm going to upload this video first or after the application of the week video, but if I do upload this first, it's kind of a preview, so or kind of a giveaway of what the application of the week is. But I won't really explain it because it is in that application of the week video, so it kind of gives you an incentive to watch that video as well. Next we have Crossover Games, which is a program that allows you to run Windows games on your Mac. And the three games here are the Counter-Strike, Condition Zero, Counter-Strike Source, then I have my Spaces, Time Machine, which I use quite a bit to actually, if I delete a photo that I was planning on using in a YouTube video, it kind of saves a day where I can find it quickly, go back in time, and pull it to the present. Uh, next, we have system preferences, where you can change your desktop, your screensaver, basically all your system preferences, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory. Then we got my application stack, document stack, and download stack, and of course my trash can. So yeah, this has been a really quick video by MacMan Limited. I hope you enjoyed. If you don't, if this is your first time watching me, or if you have seen a few of my videos but haven't done so already, click the yellow button in the on the right hand side to subscribe to my videos and uh, I will be holding another giveaway once I reach 250 subscribers so you may want to subscribe to get into that contest. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.
Macintosh computer. Uh, any photos, videos, applications, emails, anything. Just click search in there and you'll find it. Uh, next we have your dashboard which I'll open quickly. I have my stocks application, my uh, ESPN hockey uh, RSS thing I guess feed which will give me the scores and kind of the quick news what's been going on. Uh, converter for uh, temperature uh, converts uh, not only temperatures but currencies and pretty much anything that you need converted. I'll show you quickly if you can read that quick. Oops. There they are. And then next, I always do that. Anyway, next we have seven clocks up here, world clocks all around the world. We use these basically to know what time it is in different parts of the world. And it is daylight in these three cities. Next we have uh, the Google uh, search engine up top with a dictionary below, a uh, calendar underneath that, calculator, and iStat Pro, which will let you know what's going on with your computer on the inside. Then we got Bart Simpson down. What's going on YouTube? This is MacMan Limited, and I thought I'd do a quick What's in My Doc video. So let's get started quickly so I can keep this under 10 minutes. So in the first spot, I have my Finder, which is where you can use or that you can use quickly to find basically anything on your here. Uh, back to my doc, I have iCal. Basically, the only reason why I leave this in here is to tell me what the date is. And right now, it is March 18th, as you see. Uh, next, we have my mail application. So, um, as you can see, I'm falling a little bit behind on my emails, but that's all right. Um, I'll answer all your emails. I assure you that I read them all. 